What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care, as the latest Nintendo Direct footage has revealed a lot of new Pikmin 3 information. So, without further ado, let's begin by showing off the new footage in one full run. In this game, instead of Olimar, who was the main character in the previous Pikmin titles, there are three new main characters. Their names are Alf, Brittany, and the Captain Charlie. They are from planet Koppai, which is facing its doomsday due to a lack of food. They set out on their adventure in search of food that can be returned to Koppai. Due to an accident while traveling, they crash land and encounter mysterious creatures called Pikmin. With their help, the three travelers start exploring. Their mission is to collect fruit that can be their new food resource while exploring the planet with the goal of bringing the seeds back to their home. As the explorers found from their preliminary research, there were various kinds of fruit there, but it was much larger than expected. They decided to use the Pikmin's help to carry the fruit back to the spaceship. After extracting the seeds, fruit can be converted to juice and can act as a food for the player characters as they explore the planet. If they don't have enough food, they can continue their exploration. They must use the limit time of each day to explore for fruit. Night on the planet is dangerous, so you can only explore from dawn to dusk. During this time, it is important to use the different color Pikmin skill. Players can divide activities among the different characters and explore separate areas with different groups of Pikmin in order to progress with their exploration. Once you get the hang of it, you can complete tasks within a shorter time frame. Also, if you make mistakes while you play, you can replay the day or revert to an earlier section of the game. The fun of starting over is that you can tap into what you learned from your last play session to more efficiently complete tasks. In the first Pikmin game, the player had to start over again and again to figure out the most efficient way to complete the exploration of the planet in a limited time. But in this game, there is no big limitation in terms of the days. So it is more accessible for those that have not played previous Pikmin games. At the same time, Experienced players can enjoy the game deeply because the more you play, you get better with the new Pikmin and new courses. And this is another one of your assets in surviving the adventure. In Pikmin 3, the gamepad becomes a handy information terminal called the cop pad. As you can see, the area you have currently explored is shown on the map. You can see where the Pikmin and player characters are located. Also, by scrolling the screen with your finger, you can see the details of each area on the TV screen. Additionally, if you scroll the map while selecting one of the player characters like this, you can move them 
to a specific location automatically. With the cup pad, you can view the overall map and grasp what each characters and Pikmin are doing on their assigned tasks. At the end of the day, you can see the replay of the entire day. Fast forwarding and rewinding replay footage to review a day and the number of remaining Pikmin is a part of your strategy to get ready for the next day. I'd like to share some information on the game's control as well. We are preparing a few types of game controls that players can choose from. Play control using the gamepad is similar to playing the previous Pikmin games on the GameCube. The game is also compatible with the Wii U Pro Controller. If you have played Pikmin 2 for Wii, you know that the Wii Remote and Nunchak Control scheme makes it easy and intuitive to decide where you want to use Pikmin. With Wii Remote Plus, these controls have become more comfortable. We are mainly focusing on this control scheme today. Also, you can enjoy the full game without the TV by just using the gamepad. You can also play the game with Wii Remote and Nunchak using the gamepad as a monitor. With the help of Pikmin and the Coppad, can Alf, Brittany, and Charlie save their home planet, Coppai? Today, I shared updates on the game's story mode, but another time, we will be able to share more on challenge mode and the game's multiplayer modes. Pikmin 3 launches on August 4th. Wow, a lot to take in, isn't it? Well, sit back, relax, and enjoy my analysis of the latest Pikmin 3 footage. So, first off, the names of the three captains were revealed to us, Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. You know what I like about their names? The first letters, A, B, and C. See what they did there? But! This does confirm that character D is not part of the gang, but I'm open-minded, so you know what I say? I don't care. Who knows, maybe he's not a co and co 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 whatever He could be a Hockitation. He may very well be with Olimar, who is confirmed to appear in the game. Why did I mention co Well, co is supposedly the planet that these three characters are from, so we're moving on from Hockitate now. As for the plot, we were right. The planet of Kopai has a shortage of food, and therefore the characters are sent off to collect food for the sake of their planet. Much less selfish than the dirty Hockitations. Due to an accident while traveling, they crash land. And naturally, like the intro of every Pikmin game so far, they crash land. How did they do it this time? Who knows? It certainly wasn't a tree, since each character seems to have landed in a completely different location. Character A, ahem, <coughs> sorry. Alf seems to have landed in the jungle area, while Charlie landed in an ice world. As for Brittany? I don't know. <laughs> so cute. Oh, by the way, these spot caps kind of bother me because they seem so out of place. Anyone else notice? Charlie has a freaking mohawk. Oh yeah, and Charlie finds the yellow Pikmin. Something I want to point out here is, it's day one. Oh yeah, and if you listen to the sounds of the Pikmin, it is much more high-pitched. It seems as though each type of Pikmin has a different voice, which is what, something I've been longing for a while. Reds are normal, yellow are slightly higher, rocks have a lower-pitched voice, and the wing Pikmin are... Uh, angelic and echoey, I guess? The others we haven't really heard, but I'm just glad they're changing that from the Pikmin... The purple Pikmin from Pikmin 2, because they were like... They had the exact same voice but clearly they're fat, so they shouldn't sound like that, because obviously fat people sound different. That's just the logic of Nintendo and me. All right, so this clip appears to be the tutorial section of the controls, I think. We're being taught how to throw Pikmin and the new mechanic of this obstacle. In Instead of climbing a tree and smacking the goodies off like a dirty hockitation, we eco and simply weigh the goodies down and off the plant gently. We're a much kinder species, heart. 
Also, here's something new. The captains, or at least Alf, speak in real time, instead of a log at the end of the day or, complain or a complaining ship which freezes time. So, yeah, cool. But wait, what's this? It doesn't look like a fruit to me at all. In fact, if anything, it looks artificial. But how can that be if it came from that plant? Hmm, maybe another machine crashed as well and exploded its parts everywhere. But what machine could it possibly come from? Hmm, guess we'll just have to find out. The mission is to collect fruit that can be their new food resource while exploring the planet with the goal of bringing the seeds back to their home. Uh, hey Brittany, I see you're surrounded by white flowers. Is that poison to the left or is that just a shadow? Ah well, I'll just imagine you're in the white flower garden. <laughs> the explorers part. Hey, what's that behind the crystal wall? Looks like a memo tutorial logo thingy. Maybe we'll find out about that later as well. From their preliminary research, there were various kinds of fruit there, but it was much- Look at the top right! Notice that icon? It- Is that a bottle of milk? Hmm. And here we see the sunseed berry. Nothing new, but it appears there's another mini one next to it. This could hint that the sunseed berry will respawn later when this one ripens and grows and is... extractable, I guess. Larger than expected. They decided to use the pigment's help to carry the fruit. So this is apparently the new spaceship. It looks, uh... Somewhat familiar to me, but I don't know where. Genuinely, I don't actually know where, but I've seen it somewhere. Still, it looks... new. Yeah, new. And it can teleport things, so is flying even necessary anymore? Ha ha ha, that was a joke. Of course it is. How else will the Pikmin die in the horrible pits of baneful murder? <gasps> actually, it reminds me of the ship from Pikmin 2. It talks, or at least, I think it does. <laughs> Money, 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 selfish hockitations. Copanians are much more sophisticated than that. Analyzing. <laughs> I just realized that's unintentionally breaking the fourth wall on my part. Oh well. Back to the spaceship. Hey, Brittany. Oh, look, it's named the Sunseed Berry. So this happens after Pikmin 2. How they knew about the name? I'll never know. And now we are introduced to juices. These do not feed the Copayans. Instead, they are just for the captains. And I think this is the stress players will have to have with the game. Instead of panicking for the limited amount of days you have, you have to worry about starving on the planet. Which, by the way, is so fitting, as the whole planet is starving. Ah, oh, I love this game already. So, what feeds the planet, you ask? Well, the seeds. The seeds are extracted from the fruits so they can grow and be harvested on the Copai, while the fruits themselves are for the captains. Amazing idea, I know, isn't it? As for the juices themselves, they are red, yellow, and blue, and possibly there'll be others, but I don't know. Whether these make a difference, I don't know. Maybe it depends on the fruit you got, since we just got a red strawberry. But the question is, if that's the case, where the hell did the blue fruit come from? One final thing, the milk icon in the top right. It's still white, but the primary colours are the only juices available. I think this is because there is no white juice, insert joke here, and instead this icon is used to show the overall counter of juices available at the time of gameplay. Wow, posh words. One final final thing, sorry ruining the clips again, but look at the icons on the blue juice. When it's full, you can see the octopus-like icon as seen on the camera screenshot here, and at the bottom some kind of smiley face. There's also a ring icon next to the octopus icon. Probably means nothing, but hey, it's a good mention. Finally, next clip, in the bottom left we can see that all types of Pikmin are crossed out. I might have supposed to have said bottom right, but that's my script screwing me over again. This is because they are unavailable at the moment because they are too far away or something. Hey, Brittany, I see you're moving quite uniquely. Have you, have you got some special AI in you? Hmm, are you more advanced than that dirty Hockitation president who breathes down your neck all the time? Cool. As it's the end of the day, there's a new HUD thing added, the free Pikmin box. This shows how many Pikmin are not in your group at the end of the day, and are under the risk of being engulfed by the sunset, I guess. And make it easier for you to find and collect them, as you don't have to pause the game anymore. This is a great feature, just saying. Whistle wall of light for the wing Pikmin again. There's the new onion. What colours is it? I can't tell, colour blindness. But hey, 
We'll get a better look later. Day 13? Jeez, that jumped forward, didn't it? Wally! Day 15. So, this body of water completely submerges the Pikmin and Captains underwater, which I think is really cool. And look at the bridge tiles. They have little flower patterns on them. Gives them personality. But what's that on the left? A new enemy, perhaps? It sort of inflates, so... I don't know what that would mean, but hey. Day 13 again? But this place is icy, and that and that place was beachy. Uh, uh, are they connected? Or, or, or did the player retry the day at a different location? Hmm. They're getting a cherry! The apocalypse is here! <laughs> that face looks like a dirty hockitation president. This place, it, it rains! Yes! I've wanted this so much if you couldn't tell already, but wait. I recognise this place. Wasn't that lake they where- They are called Winged Pikmin. Oh my god, the weather's changed. Wow, that looks so cool. Looks like this planet <clears throat> grew a pair. <laughs> okay, that's not so cool. Now, I'm not experienced at all when it comes to food. Maybe it's an existing fruit, but to me, this looks like a mouldy, crappy pear. Apparently this fruit does exist, but it looks meh. Anyway, before, I thought it was in the exact same location as the pear, but that would mean that you'd have to be tactical when collecting fruit, too early or late, and this happened. But I may be wrong. The places are different, autumn time to beach. Still, if it's in the same location, maybe the pear clip is from past this wall and the seasons change over time, and something like that, I don't know. But these are both on day 13, so I'm probably wrong. The different characters and explorer. In the bottom left, which probably is supposed to say bottom right again, we can see what looks similar to the berry plants from Pikmin 2. What is that? A cave? A candy pop bud? Decoration? The aftermath of destroying a plant? I, I don't get it. Separate areas with different groups of Pikmin in order to progress with their explore. At first, I thought this was a bowl bear, but nope, just a black fruit. Don't know what it is, but it could be rotten or something. Relation. Once you get the hang of it. I'm sorry, I, I just have to comment about this. Blah, 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 blah. You can complete. He, his animation, it just. Uh, I love it. Along with the pyroplasmic slooch, there is also the new version of the female sheer grub. But where's the hubby? Or even better, why the hell are they there? Maybe they're the very young stage of the pyroplasmic slooches, or are they just. They just like fire or what? Are their husbands not hot enough or something? I don't get it, so, well, whatever. Also, if you make mistakes while you play... Whoa, 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 roll back! This armoured cannon beetle lava is green, so why does its rock travel around a bend? Well, I think this is because the rock's path is scripted, therefore it always follows this path, since it is burrowed in its place as well, so it can only shoot from that spot anyway. I expect the decorated cannon beetle, the red one, will still have its rocks chase the captain. Probably. Notice how the rock pikmin don't die. Well, we knew this already if you were subscribed to my channel, but rock pikmin are immune to being crushed, and there's your proof. You can replay the day or revert to an earlier se And now, exclusive to Pikmin 3, you can time travel. To the past only, but still. If you mess up, you can retry, or even go back days and fix the problem when it started. But this clip reveals more to us too. Firstly, it explains that each day has a title, kind of like a chapter. Where's Brittany? Brittany and the fruit, etc. I don't know about you, but I think someone's got a crush on Brittany. The current day doesn't have a title. Maybe this avoids spoilers and could even change depending on what you're doing on that day. Now that'd be cool. As well as that, we can also find the order of things. Day 1 is not available, but we saw Charlie with the yellows on day 1. Day 2 is with Alf and he discovers the red Pikmin. Day 3 is with Alf, discovers the rock Pikmin. Day 4 is when Alf discovers Brittany. But what about Charlie? As well as collecting more fruit, the colours of the juice appear to have changed too. Why though? From white to green? Does that mean something? I don't get it. Also, the boxes here, they seem to suggest that there is only 5 Pikmin. But we know there are more. Reds? Yellows, rocks, winged, and blues are the five Pikmin that we have seen in this trailer, or will see. What about the purples, whites, Baldmin, and hidden Pikmin which the logo seems to be screaming at us? Well, here comes my speculation again. Either the data box expands as you discover more, or you play as the Hockitations. Olimar, Louis, or the President, and even... Character D! 
Purples and whites are confirmed to be in the game, so there must be something more to this. In fact, if there is another group, maybe the data will be the same and show five Pikmin. That means that there will be at to that means that there will be a total of ten Pikmin. So that would make so much sense, wouldn't it? If you combine them, you could get ten of each Pikmin and find a hidden song Easter egg or something. The fun day thirteen again, and this is the jungle area. Man, this player must be having bad luck on this day. Oh, I see what they did there. Next gate, it's a freaking electrical. <gasps> Not that we haven't seen that before, but you know, it's still kind of cool. Of starting over is that you can tap into. Okay, this is cool. Geysers are a normal thing. We've seen them in both Pikmin games, but I love how perfectly organized they all are. Oh, and look, new enemies. Hey, is 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 that a black and white? Wallywog? With a tail? Oh no. It's adapted to ice, isn't it? What does that mean? Wait. Does that mean there are others adapted to other environments, such as, and dare I say it once again, electricity? Oh my god. As for the location, it appears to be the ice world, but it seems to be warming up. Are the seasons changing? It is day th 13 again? Ugh. But wait. Day 13 in the other world clip was fully snowed up, so maybe the season changes are random? Or this part of the map isn't as heavily snowy? Huh, this is kind of confusing me now. What you learn from- Day 15 now, a record! Again, we're completely underwater again, which I like, and this location seems new. Kind of like the barren area from the Ninten from Nintendo Land's Pikmin Adventure. And the scales are back, not that they ever left. Though it could be different since I only see one, and it apparently needs 20 Pikmin to weigh it down, so maybe it's a- box again or a, play, a paper bag from Pikmin 2? I wonder what it reveals. We are last play session to what it Wow, look at the new and improved Snagret. It looks so much more menacing. It only took 30 God, come on player! The jungle autumn area again. Still can't complain, this looks good. Efficiently complete task. Oh wow, and also, if you look really closely, after Al throws all the yellow Pikmin, he begins with the wing Pikmin 2. So they can be thrown. Can't see it? Well, look at the HUD. You can see two are thrown before the next clip. Slide electric gate. In the first Pikmin game, the player had to start over again and again to figure out the most efficient way to complete the exploration of the planet in a limited time. But in this game, there is no big limitation in terms of the days. There is no limitation in terms of days. So, how are we stressed like Miyamoto wants us to be? Juice. We're supposed to worry about starving on the planet more than escaping it. So, it is more accessible for those that have not played previous Pikmin games. At the same time, experienced players can enjoy the game deeply because the more you play, you get better with the new Pikmin and new courses. And this is another one of your assets in surviving the adventure. In Pikmin 3, the gamepad becomes a handy information terminal called the Cop Pad. As you can see, there are more icons at the bottom of the screen. The first one is the world, possibly to see where you are on the planet, or even better, connect to other captains and maybe even switch to them across the world, or just to zoom. The second one is the file memo thing again, as we saw behind the crystal wall. What does it do? I don't know. My thought is that it can connect to the Piclopedia and or information of the fruits you collect. What do you think? Because I'm kind of confused with this one. Third one, Pikmin. Probably to display how many Pikmin you have or statistics or something like that. Fourth one is locked. What could it be? Fifth one is the camera, which confirms that this screenshot is of a camera. Well spotted, guys. Alf's body shadow is animated in the top right. I expect this changes depending on who you are controlling. And finally, those little blimps of radar-like things. What are they? Maybe we'll find out soon. Possibly new bridge of some kind? There's the onion again. We'll see it better later still, though. Also, by scrolling... But to the left appears to be a black stone wall. In Pikmin 1, you needed bomb rocks to destroy it. Does that mean the bomb rocks return? If so, who wields them? Yellows again? Rocks? 
If not, who has the power to destroy it? Also, now the finger's out of the way, we can see the previously locked icon. What is it? From here, it looks like either a mushroom, the ship head from Pikmin 2, a bottle of juice like the onion, a sunseed berry, or a berry from Pikmin 2. What is it? You decide. Or you find out, get a higher resolution picture of it or something and work it out, I don't know, because I just can't see it from here. The screen with your finger. Here we can see on the gamepad what appears to be a star. In Pikmin 1, this used to show a ship piece. Wow, I actually said that correctly for the first time. So, what is it in this game? Perhaps it's an item necessary for the progression of the story. It could even lead to the next area, like in Pikmin 2. Oh, and this spot on the TV? It's this clip. You can see the details of each area on the TV screen. Hold on a minute, that pellet. Now, I may be colorblind, but to me, that looks pretty grey. And you know what that means? Rock Pikmin are confirmed to have an onion. Partially. What do I mean by that? We'll see. Additionally, if you scroll the map while selecting one of the Pellet Posey turns from red like to grey. You can't hide from me. This. You can. There's the fruit again, so I guess I was wrong last time. And this is a much better mechanic for the Pikmin series. This is what a real time strategy is all about. Just. Wow. I also like how you can't cheat with the overhead view, as the path is blocked from being seen as you haven't walked there yet. That mohawk strad. At the end of the day, you can see the replay of the entire day. Fast forwarding and rewinding replay footage. In this view, we can see that there are two sunseed berries and also an internet connection logo. Um, little confused. Maybe this is a spot where you can connect to other captains around the world. Hold on. The pulsing of radar light is coming from that. Maybe it is another captain trying to connect to you. Now that would make a bit of sense, right? Oh, and in this replay mode, you can change the speed the of time. Wait a second. That player goes really fast at this section. Maybe it's a slide of some kind that forces you to go fast. And at the end of it, possibly a cave? What is that icon? Hey look, the chart of the Pikmin existence is back. Haven't seen that in 12 years. And if you look at the un... And if you look at the unfocused background, you can see the ship flying majestically with the onion, which is bobbing up and down slightly. From its position, it appears as though more onions should join it eventually. Obviously, this would be the case traditionally, but something in this game makes me think differently. Again, I'll come to it later. I'd like to share some information on the game's control as well. We are preparing a few types of game controls that players can choose from. Play control. And by that, I apparently mean now. We can fully see the onion in its former glory, and it's grey, so it must belong to the rocks. But wait, the base only shows that there's room for one. So where do the others? Oh my god, it turned red. So, remember the clip with the tutorial Red Pikmin new mechanic plant tree artificial organic machine that red and grey? That possibly crashed or not? Yeah, that machine goes on top of the onion. But that one was red, and this one is red and grey. Clearly the two parts are combined into one, since it seems like there is a juice-like liquid inside. So, what did I mean by the machine crashing? Well, it's a possibility that this onion was once the ultimate onion hosting all types of Pikmin, but for whatever reason, crashed and lost each part. Sound familiar? With that, the types of Pikmin were scattered until you found them. It could very well be a possibility that each time you find a new Pikmin, you will find a ship part nearby. Also, I kind of don't want to call this an onion, mainly because the Copaians found this one. Olima called these things onions, but maybe these guys will call it something different like a... A coconut! Could this include the white and purple Pikmin as well? They are born from candy pop buds, but they could still have an onion part. If that's the case, do caves return at all? We've seen no evidence so far. But if there's only one onion, how do you explain the position of the onion in the background, Daz? Well, I think there may be multiple onions, but there are duplicates, or onions which are not combined. For example, look at Charlie. He's on his own with the yellow Pikmin in the ice world. He doesn't have the same ultimate onion as Alf and Brittany. So maybe he has another ultimate onion, or a simple yellow onion. Actually, what about his ship? If all three characters came from the same ship, how will Charlie survive the nights of the Pikmin planet? Also, 
Brittany is found on day 3 here, despite being found on day 4 in the other clip. Maybe the data only shows the statistics at the beginning of the day. That, or the player restarted day 3, because they'd had enough of day 13. Oh, day 1 again. But we're out this time. So maybe you can replay days as different captains. Or you're forced to. Ah, the pellet posies wilt away when they die. It even comes with a sound effect. With Wii Remote Plus, these control have become more complex. Ouch, that looked painful. Jesus. We are mainly See the spirit of the dwarf bulbul? It's much more blue and round. Focusing on this control scheme today. Also, you can enjoy the full game without the TV by just using the gamepad. You can also play the game with Wii Remote and Nunchak using the gamepad as a monitor. With the help of Pikmin and the Coppad, can Alf, Brittany, and Charlie save their home planet, Koppai? Today, I shared updates on the game's story mode. But another time, we will be able to share more on challenge mode and the game's multiplayer modes. Pikmin 3 launches on August 4. And July 26 for Europeans. Ha ha ha! That includes me! Ah well, don't feel bad. I only get the game one week early. Plus, you'll get more Pikmin 3 videos to gaze over before you actually get the game. And my let's play of it will come sooner. Kind of. Well, you know what I mean. So with all of that, we complete our analysis of the latest Pikmin 3 footage. <gasps> my name's been Daz. You didn't really care. I cannot wait for Pikmin 3 and I'll see you in a bit.